In the previous video, we have added car markers to our road prefabs, so that now we can actually we can place our road on our map. And if we enable gizmos, we should see that our roads now have some car markers uh, that are placed on our roads. And you can already see that if we have a way to connect those markers, we can easily find a way through the correct lane to reach from one point of our road to another one so let's stop the game now what we will need to do is go to our scripts folder and to our ai and we will need to open our script called road helper since it has a list of markers assigned to it so we can use those markers in our calculations of the path so let's double tap on the road helper script okay so what we would like to do here is we would like to add another list since you have you can see that there is a list of pedestrian markers and we have a bull flags is corner as has crosswalks that will allow us to calculate pedestrians path and we can see that we have some methods for example the get closest marker to which will be used to calculate which marker is closest to the given position so this will allow us to create connection between two markers on different road prefabs and we will need to implement a couple of methods here let's start by uh, creating a new list of markers so let's copy this list with serialized field attribute and let's paste it below and let's call it not pedestrian markers but car markers okay great and before we go back to unity and assign those let's see what uh, what kind of methods do we have here well we have here a uh, get closest marker to we have get the closest pedestrian position to and we have get all pedestrian markers so we can create uh, the same methods for our car markers so let's extend this uh, the get all pedestrian markers let's copy this method let's paste it below and let's rename it to get all car markers and let's return simply car markers okay we have this method next well, we, we would like to have this get close uh, closest pedestrian position but for our cars Let's open it up. We can see that it gets the closest marker to. So let's copy this method. Let's paste it below. Let's rename it from get closest pedestrian to get closest car position, uh, car marker position. And we are going to use the get closest marker method. But instead of passing the um, pedestrian markers as the list, we are going to pass the car markers as the list. And this will calculate as the closest position from uh, between uh, two uh, different road prefabs. So what I was talking about, this will be used for creating our graph. One thing that we will need to fix here later in this tutorial, I will show it. But right now, what we can do is instead of this corner, we are going to pass false here. I have copied this line of code and pasted it here. And I have forgotten uh, to change this boolean flag to be false. And later on in the video series we will change it but for now this is pretty important because otherwise your graphs will not be correctly created okay let's get back to the video and for now those those are all the changes that we will make to our road helper we are going to add some more methods when we want to find start and end markers that are on the correct lane so our car can uh, travel through the correct lane for now we will want to visualize our graph that we have connected and let me just explain how the get closest marker works. So get closest marker simply searches for each marker in pedestrian markers. And if this is a corner, we have a bit of a different way to search. But basically, we are going to do something like this. Uh, we select the closest marker as null and distance set to max value. And for each marker, we check the distance. And we are going to simply check if current distance is greater than found distance, we are going to select this marker as the closest one. And after looping for each marker on this root prefab, we are going to select the one that is closest to the position that we were given as the input parameter. So maybe this rule should be called not structure position, but marker position. In any case, that's how our get closest marker 2 will work. So now let's go back to unity and let's assign those car markers to each road prefab so let's save the script let's go back to unity great let's go back to our prefabs folder road and let's open up the street straight so all we will need to do is make sure that you use the lock in the top right corner of inspector 
and select your car markers. Uh, this is of size, size 0. So we are going to select those two car markers in our hierarchy and let's simply drag them to our car markers. And that's it. Let's save it. Let's unlock the inspector. And let's go back to uh, let's go to our street dead end prefab. Again, let's use the lock in the top right corner of inspector. Again, let's drag two car markers to our car markers. And that's it. Unlock it. Save it. Let's go back to street curve and let's do the same. So let me do it quickly. Select the car markers. All of those. Drag them to car markers. Save it. Unlock the inspector. Go to street four way. Select those car markers. And I have not locked the inspector. So it disappeared. Lock it. Select all car markers. Assign them to car markers list. Let's save it. Unlock it. And street four way. Uh, street, street freeway. As the last one. Lock it in the inspector. Select those car markers. Assign them. And this should be it. Unlock the inspector and let's save it. So now we have assigned all the car markers for every street prefab uh, to have car markers list. So now we can loop through them and find the closest one. So basically we can create our graph. In the next video we are going to test the functionality of it. We are going to try creating a graph on a uh, road that we will create in our game. And you will see how it looks like. So see you in the next video.